And we're going to send it back to Paul and Rosemary now. Okay, well, <laughs> Natalie, and maybe perhaps many of you have heard of designer shoes, right? The handbags, the dresses. Now people are buying designer dogs. For example, breeders are matting Labradors, or mating, I should say, Labradors with poodles to come up with Labradoodles. Cocker spaniels with poodles are cockapoos. And perhaps the most popular, a pug with a beagle becomes Puggle. And not to be outdone, Paul is with the designer Dalmatians. These guys are mated with pointers. Paul. Yeah, and I have to tell you, this, this is really going to be an interesting conversation. And, and like you, I was expecting something, forgive me, something kind of dopey. You know, we've crossed a Sharpe with a Chihuahua just to see what it looks like. And that's not what this is about. I'm here with uh, Danica Banish, who is uh, an associate professor at UC Davis in the veterinary department, right? That's right. And this is, this is not frivolous at all. This is doing something wonderful for the health of dogs. And that's what we're talking about. And Dee Dee down here is a very, very special Dalmatian who's enjoying a snack. Uh, t tell me about Dee Dee and why she's unique, Danica. So Dee Dee actually has one pointer in her pedigree about 11 generations back, and that pointer allowed us to correct a health problem that the breed has. So all Dalmatians have a susceptibility to form bladder stones, and Dee Dee actually no longer has that susceptibility because of the pointer gene that was introduced. Although you can tell she looks a lot like a Dalmatian, she's over 99% Dalmatian, and just one pointer a long time ago has made her a healthy dog. Yeah, so again, this was not a let's play around and make a dog look different at all. The goal was to have Dee Dee look like a purebred Dalmatian, which in fact she does. She's beautiful, right? That's right. And um, Denise Powell, who is a breeder here of these dogs, has been working very hard to try and keep them looking just like Dalmatians. And I'm sure you can't tell the difference between Dee Dee and any other Dalmatian. Yeah, and again, how many generations back did we go where we, we introduced some, some lucky pointer into the breed? It was uh, 11 generations back. Well, so can I, do you know how long ago that was? When, when, when did we, when did the it pointer? It started in 72. 72. Okay, so it's, it's been a long time coming. And again, every other parent in this dog's lineage has been a purebred Dalmatian. That's right. And, and um, you said it was, what kind of stones that were, that the, the breed is? Bladder stones. Bladder stones. Uh -huh. And at the genetic level, this dog is no longer predisposed to get those, correct? That's right. She's, she has been genetically corrected and made healthy. And we were chatting a little bit before we, we came here. There is a little bit of a controversy in that, as far as anybody knows, this is a beautiful purebred Dalmatian, but because there is that one pointer in its lineage, um, the American Kennel Club is saying, no, you can't enter these dogs in our shows, right? That's right. That's, oh, that's right. That's interesting. And we think she'd probably do pretty well in competition against oh. the purebred Dalmatian. You no, know, she's absolutely beautiful. She is. Oh, by the way, I should ask you, are there any other projects like this? Are there other breeds of dogs that are trying to be corrected for you know, genetic uh, medical flaws like that? There aren't in the U.S. that I know of. Um, there, there was actually a cross done in England between boxers and corgis in order to introduce a natural tailless gene into boxers. So when docking was made illegal in England, they right. wanted to still have that boxer look. But that's not really a health reason. Okay. So this is the first time I know of um, where someone has systematically tried to correct a health problem in a breed. That's fascinating. Thank you very much for coming. Dee Dee, thank you for coming. Can I get a little lick there? Thanks, Dee Dee. And we'll toss it back to you guys in the studio. What a beautiful oh, beauty. dog. Beauty. And if mix equals health success, we may see uh, less and less uh, purebreds. Hmm. All right, at uh, 745, we want to dress our weather buddy. By the way, we're still looking for a name, so shoot us a, a name if you think a win. His friend has gone designer with breeds like, I think it's the Puggle yeah. and the Labradoodle. Labradoodle, yeah, but as Kelly Chapman shows us at UC Davis is celebrating the development of a happier, healthier Dalmatian. You've likely heard of designer handbags and sunglasses, but what about designer dogs? Oh. At first glance, these tail-wagging, four-footed friends look like a regular black-and-white Dalmatian, but it's a spot they don't have that separates them from the rest. All Dalmatians have a problem that causes them to have a predisposition to form stones in their bladders. And that's a predisposition that could shorten or harm a Dalmatian's lifespan, and there's no getting around it. Every single Dalmatian has that. Until now. 30 years ago, a scientist discovered the gene and determined it could be removed with the help of another dog. And the way he did that is by introducing a single pointer dog into these dogs' pedigrees. Today, these dogs are known as designer Dalmatians, all linked to that one pointer 11 generations back, and every single relative free of the genetic disposition, but carry all the other traits and spots of a regular Dalmatian. I don't think you could tell them apart from any other Dalmatians.
You know, the, uh, the doctor also says this genetic problem can also be found in humans. It can cause gout and hypertension. She says the Dalmatians are a very important animal model for the study of human health.